What's up guys, Joel Valley from Media Glitch here and I love my game room. It's small, it's tiny, but it's mine and I get to show off my passion for retro gaming here. <clears throat> I love uh, kind of the setup I have, but one of my favorite things that I get to show off when people come are these pixel frames, man. I, I love them, they capture history in a box. They're so, they're so awesome and like here, I mean, it's kind of hard to see because I'll take them off the wall. I'm going to show you guys uh, it, in a bit close up. You know, I got stuff all around the house. You know, I got a little Sonic, Goro, statue, scorpion. <clears throat> but up here, that's reserved for the best video game ever made. The Revenge of Shinobi is my favorite game of all time. I love it, but I love that Pixel Frames made a, a Pixel Frame art of this game man oh there's so many great moments that you could put uh from this game i love how they have these yeah the revenge of shinobi 1989 <clears throat> when i played this for the first time remembering uh this boss trying to figure out what am i supposed to do how do you kill him and it's there and i can display it on my wall for everyone to see that is awesome man and i'm gonna mess around there you know you could if you wanted to you could position lights in different ways <clears throat> to make those shadows uh, cast differently. Now this is Agar. Agar is my favorite level boss of all time from Altered Beast. Now my boy Kag, man, sent me this one and Golden Axe and that's when I fell in love with these things. I thought they were so amazing. I remember wanting Altered Beast. When I would look at the back of Game Pro Magazine or the advertise, I'm like, what is this game? What is this devil throwing heads out? And you're a wolf. I just, I just, I, it was such a big jump from what I was playing, which was, you know, Mario 3. Graphic wise, I was like, this is it. This is like, because you're getting older, you know, you're not, you're not in fifth grade no more, you know, you're, you're getting hair in funny places and stuff. You got to grow up. And I wanted this grown up game. I wanted it, man. And, uh, and then here's uh, Golden Axe. <clears throat> Again, I'm messing with the lights just so you can see, just to capture this moment. Now, Golden Axe was another uh, free game they sent if you bought the bundle, the Genesis bundle, they sent you another game in the mail. There's everyone's first crush, uh, <laughs> depending on who you're looking at, I guess. But uh, yeah, oh man, like to capture this moment right here and to have it and you can put it on your wall now, that's that's awesome stuff. Man. I love this game and the fact that they're pulling these out making more I had to pick up a couple more which I'm gonna show you guys today You can already tell by the, the box what's probably in here <clears throat> in some of these So we got right straight out the bat. You got Contra one of my favorite NES games probably second only to Mike Tyson's punch I don't know they battle back and forth. You got the goat a fighting game Street Fighter I had to have that now. I'm not a really a big Sonic fan. I'm not gonna lie but I love Sega Genesis so much, you got to put the mascot up some places. So that's why. And uh, here's what the box art looks like. I never, I just throw it away. I'm not going to collect it like that. I want to display these bad boys. I want to put them up on the wall. I want people to see it and enjoy it. Everyone that comes into my game room, they always notice these things. These ones capture them because you're showing them more than a cart. You're showing them a piece that they remember when they were kids. So. Here's the back of this. Oh, I forgot to show that Contra. You know, every every one of these has like a little explanation of what the game is. If you're interested in that, I like that people well just use it as a picture frame, uh, uh, somewhere on some table. That's cool. Or maybe in your office at work or something. These are great little devices to brighten up your room. Uh, that so that's how the label comes back there. So don't forget that. And then you peel it off so you can get that bling bling right there. Yeah, that's looking nice. That's looking sharp right there. So again, I'm going to play with the, some of the, the lighting so you can see, you know, the shadows and stuff. If you if you want to go all out like that, I'm just putting them on my wall. I love how they, they display in just normal light. It looks really cool, man. So this is it. I got six so far and building <clears throat> six and growing, man. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Look how beautiful those things are. Oh, my gosh. I displayed them like that on the wall. I took out down how they were before. Now they're just gonna cut across like that. I'm happy, I'm happy with this, man. This looks really good. People walk in, they're gonna see that. It's gonna be awesome. But there's not one here. There's one, there he is, the goat. 
of all video games, The Revenge of Shinobi in top place where he needs to be. So guys, you can go pick these up at a variety of places, Amazon, Big Bad Toy Stores, whatever. They run about $24. Uh, some of those pre-orders at 29 but you got Castlevania. Look at some of these uh, just classic, iconic moments in gaming history. Why wouldn't you want that on your wall? I need that one. I got to get that one. I got to get that Mega Man 2, the Lantern Fish. Oh, man, I got to get that one as well. There's just so many amazing video game memories. And you can display them. They're, and they, they're just, they look so cool. And they're... They're eye-catching to everyone who comes into this house. So I would suggest pick some up for yourself for Christmas or, you know, spend that Christmas money you'll be getting uh, or, you know, bless someone else, man. So anyway, love you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Los locos poemas.